Hello everyone, this is Rich Hay from the Super Site for Windows. I've got a special treat for you today. Uh, it's Saturday afternoon, the 11th of July, and I know it's been a very busy couple of weeks with Windows 10 builds. We've had four Windows 10 desktop builds uh, in the last two weeks. We've had a new mobile build yesterday that got released, so both desktop and mobile are both on 10,166. So it's been very busy. But one area of Windows 10 that we've not really been able to test yet is the feature called Windows Hello. Now Windows Hello has got two elements to it. One is the fingerprint side, and we have been able to use that. Fingerprint readers have been working. I wrote about it uh, several weeks ago on the super site. And you can use an $11 USB fingerprint reader to sign into Windows 10 using Windows Hello. And of course, fingerprint reader worked before with Windows uh, 8 and 8.1 and Windows 7 even before it. But the one element of Windows Hello that we've only ever seen demoed on stage by Microsoft is the facial recognition. Now what's special about the facial recognition is it requires special hardware. The, the software ability is built into Windows 10, but you've got to have a camera that's got three different cameras. It's got to have a infrared camera, it's got to have a regular RGB or color camera, and then it has to have a 3D camera. And it uses those three elements to construct and recognize your face in order for you to log in with your face. And we've seen Joe Belfiore demo this on stage at Build 2015 in San Francisco, and we've seen it, we saw that demoed a couple other times. But it's never been available publicly. Well, what has happened uh, since last fall, actually, Intel has been providing a creative camera, this camera right here, um, called the F200. It is a Intel RealSense camera. It's just been manufactured by Creative, and it is a developer kit camera. You can order this from Intel for $120 to use it on your system for development. And up until now, <clears throat> it's only been available to do demos and stuff like that. The software has not connected properly with Windows 10 in order to implement the Windows Hello facial recognition features. So I ordered this several weeks ago, waiting for that software to catch up. And you might remember a couple weeks ago, Microsoft released a new software development kit for Windows 10. And that version, uh, I think it was 10158 was the build number when we got build 10,158 that allowed third party devs to then implement RealSense and the camera functionality into Windows 10. And so the Intel had to build their own uh, real sense depth camera manager, it, the version they had was not compatible with Windows Hello for recognizing the camera for facial recognition and logging in. So when they released that new SDK, Intel went to work on a new version of that of uh, the camera manager, and today they released build 1.4 of that, which fully implements the ability to use the F200 camera. This is the same hardware that will be in the front facing panels of a laptop, for instance, or a desktop computer or a monitor that will be Windows Hello facial recognition compatible. Uh, they just provide it in a compact and a USB. It's USB 3.0. Has to be used on an Intel system as well. So I've got it currently connected to my HP Spectre X360. So <clears throat> now that I have the software, now that I have the hardware, I can combine the two and actually use the facial recognition. And I've already tried it and I'm about to go through that with you, but it is amazingly fast. You know how Joe Belfiore had to put a piece of paper over the camera to stop it from recognizing him? It is that fast. You walk up, sit down in front of your computer, the camera sees you, and it logs you in. So I'm gonna take you through um, the setup process for Windows Hello using facial recognition, and then I'm going to take you through a couple of the different scenarios that you can use with facial recognition because it allows you to do automatic login, so the minute it sees you, it logs you in. Or you can do not automatic login so that you have to tap uh, from the lock screen, it recognizes you, it says hello in your name, but then you have to tap to the login screen and then it logs you into Windows 10. And then there's another element that they offer you an option to turn your head slightly left or right, and that is another level of security. And then I've also printed out a picture of myself, the high resolution picture of myself, so that I can use it and show you that that flat single dimension image cannot be used to log into Windows Hello and spoof it, for instance. So I'm gonna shut this off for right now, and I'm gonna set up for the close-up shots of the computer and the camera. I'll be back in a minute. 
All right, hello everyone, this is Rich, I'm back again. I'm now screencasting my desktop from my HP Spectre X360 running Windows 10 build 10166 so that I can show you the setup and install process. Now, one thing I've already done before I even started was I installed the Intel RealSense Depth Camera Manager. They updated to version 1.4 and that was released just a few days ago. And this is the software that works on Windows 10 build 10,150 or later to implement the Windows Hello functionality for facial recognition. Now I've already gone through the install process. This is about a 60 or it's about a 100 megabyte download and it installs very quickly but you must have the camera plugged in and it must be in a USB 3.0. It can't be a hub. It's got to be a direct um, USB port because of the bandwidth that it requires. Okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the settings and you go to accounts and then you go into sign in options and you'll see now right here on my screen Windows Hello knows that I have the camera hooked up and ready to go so it's ready for facial recognition if I had a fingerprint reader it would, this would say fingerprint as well so we're gonna go ahead and set up I've turned off the overhead light because it really creates a bright light but when I tested this earlier what was pretty amazing is despite having that really bright light in the camera it still was able to analyze my face and it worked to um, recognize me when I used it later so let's go through the setup all right welcome to Windows hello this is when it gets this is uh, the setup process so you just click get started and it will ask you for your pin if you're running a pin or your password and then it asks you to center your face and it will want you to look there and that's how fast it is to set up now it does say here if you wear glasses you want to improve recognition then go through it again with and without them. That way it will recognize you each time. So I'm going to put my glasses on because I do use the glasses occasionally and I'm going to say improve re uh, recognition and there it is and alright so it's set. So now I hit close. So now here on this screen you see things have improved. If I hit improve recognition it will scan and open the camera up and look at my face again to measure me. And don't forget this camera is made up of three parts. It's a normal color camera, it's a infrared camera, and it is a 3D camera so it has to have all three elements to work properly that's why holding up a picture of yourself won't work um, and now you see the other two options that are available the first one is to automatically unlock the screen if we recognize your face so that means if if you walk in front of the computer and it's setting on the lock screen it will automatically log you in to the desktop so let's try that first alright um, so let me do that I'm going to turn that on and now I'm going to log out of the computer. Unfortunately though I think that's going to kill my recording here. So I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to demo these things on the other camera. All right, on the on the Nikon DSLR I'll do the recordings with. Uh, and then this one, this is the second setting and this is it says for extra security require that you turn your head left and right to unlock the screen and if that's turned on if you're looking straight on the camera it will prompt you to turn your head slightly to the left and right so that it sees you move and again that's another measure another level of security so you can turn that on and off here as well so what I'm going to do right now is I am going to um, stop this screen capture and I'm going to set up the Nikon to record the entire setup and show you how the login process works and we'll even demo it in dark uh, and let you see how that works as well alright so I'll be back in just a minute alright everyone it's Rich again I'm back uh, got the computer all set up and set up the the Nikon uh, my D5100 in recording mode to record the screen here so it can't screencast this part because I want you to be able to see how quickly things work. Now currently I have the camera covered up with a white piece of paper very similar to what Joe Belfiore did in his demos on stage um, because otherwise it will recognize me and it, I can't demo it because it's so fast but you'll see here on the main lock screen I'm currently logged out it says it's looking for you and you see the little thing looking around for me. Now as soon as I pull off the paper it will log me in and re recognize my face. Remember I currently have the setting to just look straight onto the camera. No need to turn my head or anything like that. So let me remove this. And like that, it recognized me and I'm now logged into my Windows desktop without having to touch the keyboard or anything like that. Now uh, let's go into settings real quick. And I'm going to check that other option off that I mentioned on the uh, setup. 
and that is for extra security require turning your head left and right to unlock the screen. So I've turned that on. I'm going to log out. I'm going to put the piece of paper over the thing again so it doesn't recognize me so fast. I'm going to sign out. And then what we'll do is we'll do this again, but now it should require me to turn my head left and right. So again, it's looking for me on the lock screen because that's the default login. And now you can see it's asking me to turn my head slightly to the left and the right. And so I'll turn it slightly to the left and it's enough for it to recognize me based on what we've done earlier with the setup process. So that is how well Windows Hello works to log you in. You still have the other options available on your lock screen. You still have PIN login if you're using a PIN or your password, and of course the Windows Hello, uh, the facial recognition login. It is very impressive how quick it is. So now uh, give me a minute. I'm going to pause. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to turn off the lights, and we're going to do this with the lights off in a darker situation because this is where the infrared comes into play. So I'm going to cover the camera up again. I'm going to log out of my account. And I'm going to reach over here and turn off the, the light. So now it's, it's as dark in the room as I can make it. So in a normal camera situation, the, the details on this kind of a shot would be horrible. It'd be very dark and you wouldn't be, it'd be very grainy. But because of the infrared, it can, it can bounce that infrared off of my face and see the textures and contours of my face, which is how it validates the ability to log in. So let me pull this off. Don't forget we have it set so that I have to look left or right. Turn my head slightly, and there it goes. So now in this dark situation, it also recognized my face using the infrared aspect. So it uses all three in combination, but if one is, is more dominant, like in a dark situation, the infrared, then it will log you in using that. All right, so one more thing I want to do, and I'm going to uh, log out of here one more time. Actually, no, I'm going to go in and I'm going to change the settings and I'm going to change it to just look straight on because the picture, you can't uh, rotate that. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to cover the camera. And I'm going to sign out and I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to turn back on the light so that it can see the picture. Uh, hang on just a minute, I have to grab the picture I printed out on the printer. All right, so you can see I've printed out a picture of myself. It's, my, it's a full resolution image, so I've now got this that I'm gonna hold in front of the camera. So I'm gonna set off here over to the side, and I'm gonna pull this off, it's, and I can't even get away from it from the side. Hang on a minute. Let's lock the lock screen. Let's try it this way. All right, here's a prompt that it comes up with sometimes, and it says it's looking for you, and if it sees you, sometimes it'll ask you to dismiss the lock screen for some reason, or sometimes it will just automatically log you in. So let me try this one more time to log off. Let me cover the camera. All right, so now I'm gonna pull this back. I don't know if you can't see it yet, but I'm gonna pull this back. I'm gonna try to stay out of the way myself and I'm going to hold the picture in front of it and you notice that it's not doing anything, it's not logging in. But if I drop the picture and I bring myself into view, it automatically logs me in. So somebody can't just print out a picture of you and spoof the camera to log you in. So uh, there you go. That's probably, I think, maybe the first public demo of Windows 10 to that extent. Because up until this point, we've only seen the demos on stage from Joe Belfiore and other members of the Windows team. So there, are, there is hardware out there. You can get the F200 camera from Intel if you want to buy the dev kit. It's handy because you can put on a little tripod like I did and you can uh, use it for logging into the machine. Like I said, it has to be an Intel based machine and it has to have the at least build 10,150 of Windows 10 to work and you have to also download the camera manager version 1.4 which just came out a couple days ago. So if you got any questions about Windows 10 Windows 10 Hello, Windows Hello, and facial recognition and things like that, just let me know. But uh, I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you see the potential that Windows Hello really does have for making our computers much more secure by using something that's unique to every one of us and that's our faces. So until next time, take care and stay safe out there.